Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to this uh, video on Space ID. Or ID, just wanted to give you my thoughts on it. I mean, purely technically, we'll look at the daily time frame. We'll look at the four hour time frame in a moment. Um, in general, will not be a long video, right? Because um, it's, it's quite clear, at least on the daily time frame, it's quite clear what's most likely technically. Uh, but I did want to spend some time talking about Space ID in general. All right, so, uh, so let's get right into it. First of all, it, it looked like if we if we talk about yesterday and if we talk about some of the cryptos that rallied, it looked like there was some sort of a, some sort of Binance bullish momentum going on, right? So what you what you saw is that Space ID, for example, was quite bullish, but you you also saw Open Campus was quite bullish, Meme Coin, Pixel quite bullish. Those are all, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I very much wonder if there's there's another project which I wanted to, to wanted to talk about. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, but these are all no a hooked protocol. If that's also bullish, I think it's confirmed. Yeah, that's quite bullish as well. But it seems like there's some sometimes there's this push behind Binance launch pad and launch pool projects, and I think that happens. You can see hooked also uh, was very bullish yesterday evening. So that was going on, but before that, ID Space ID was quite bullish already. But um, but that's that's what's going on. I mean, I, I always find it hard uh, to kind of pinpoint and kind of talk about where that's actually coming from. It might be some manipulation. I always think it's manipulation, like especially for Space ID, uh, which is a fine project. But if you look at Space ID and you see a volume of one point fifteen billion dollars. And if I sort this volume, I will guarantee it's coming from some Korean exchanges or some, some very low confidence exchanges. Um, yeah, up bit, most of it. And then UEE and 4E, which, like I said, are low confidence exchanges. So I do think ID is manipulated. Now, does that matter? Not always. <laughs> All right. So what you should be prepared for in general is that right now, look, the markets are bullish. ID, technically, like I said, technically it looks very clear that ID is bullish as well. But in a matter of one day, the open interest has one, went up from 40 million to $110 million. So at some point of time, ID is going to come down, is, is going to fall down hard, especially in these market circumstances with the funding rates uh, at where they're, where, they're, where they're at right now, which is very high. But like I said, if you look at the daily, what, you, what, what you'll see, is that right now, sure, we hit like 1.4, found some resistance there, but we got a major bullish breakout above this level right here, around a dollar. Previous high, psychological level, 382 FIB. So what I expect from here is I expect some sort of a pullback uh, into that area, and then from there, I do expect us to hold and still go up higher. Even though I do think we're manipulated, I think levels at 1.5, 1.6, where we have a 1.618 FIB, and ultimately also levels around $2 in these market circumstances with these technicals uh, are most likely. Will I trade this though? No, because in the end, the thing is, and that's um, I think that's worth it to end this video with, um, the thing is, is that if a coin is manipulated, which I think there's enough proof to assume that Space ID is, if there's enough, uh, like if it's manipulated, the manipulators will make money. It's a zero sum market. So that means retail loses money. So can you make money off of this? Does it look bullish? Is it most likely it, it will continue to go up? Yes, but still the risk that's associated with it for me uh, is just not worth it. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know on Space ID for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.